Hi everyone, here we're looking at simplifying algebraic fractions again, and this time we're adding and subtracting. So when we're adding fractions, the rule is that the denominator, so the bottom part of the fraction, has to be equal. So in this case it is, so we can write our final answer as being over p, and simply add the top parts, so that would give us 8x. For our next example, we don't have a common denominator, and so we would have to find one. And when we're not sure how to find one, we simply multiply by each denominator. So that would mean we have 4 times x plus 1 over x minus 3 times x plus 1. And so what, I'm, what I've done there is I've simply multiplied that fraction by x plus 1 over x plus 1. And then we'd have minus 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 3, sorry, divided by x minus 3 times x plus 1. So here you can see that I've times this fraction by x minus 3 over x minus 3. So now that the bottom parts of my fractions are the same, I can add the tops. So first of all, I need to expand each of those brackets. So I'd have 4x plus 4 minus 3x, and then I'd have 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. But because I'm subtracting negative 9, I'm going to get plus 9. And that's all over x minus 3 bracket x plus 1. I'm not going to bother expanding the brackets at this stage unless I have a good reason to. So collecting like terms, I have 4x and negative 3x, and 4 and 9. So that gives me x plus 13 over x minus 3 x plus 1. And that's my final answer. So um, practice some of these please on 14.05 and 14.06. And just remember those basic skills from fractions um, when you're dealing with just numbers because the same principles apply when you're working with algebra.